Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to create customizable tables for regression analysis. We are going to use freely available data set for Stata 17, which is Enhanes 2L. So we will type web use Enhanes 2L on the command window. And once we push that command, we will find the second national health and nutrition examination survey. So to create our regression analysis table, we'll go to statistics, summary tables and tests. Then we go to tables of frequency summaries and command results. Once we click that, we open a dialog box, which gives us options to manipulate our table so we'll go to the command tab and then create and then here we can type in our regression command so we'll write regress and then our dependent variable will be bp system systolic pressure and then we want to regress these against a continuous age variable so you type in c dot age and then we would wish to see the interaction between age and sex so we will put in their double hash signs and then sex is categorical variable so is we put in i dot sex once we do that we click accept and our command gets into the command definition column then once we hit submit, then we will generate a command for executing our analysis, which will be table with double brackets. And then you can see our regression command here. So once we do that, we would wish to customize our table. Then we go to main and then define what goes into the column. So to do this, then we can select column variable and here we will put in the results and then accept so we scroll down the drop down menu until when we can find the results and then have those ones go into the col column once you hit submit then you realize that now our table shows the coefficients now the next thing would be to customize this table depending on the outputs that we want so we go back to the dialog box and then there's a tab to customize the table. So once you click on that, this opens up table builder where you have freedom to select what you need to see on your table. You can click on the row and then activate the edit button. And this opens for you another dialog box where you can define what needs to be portrayed in the table that you have so realize that stata gives you a preview window where you can see whether whatever changes you're making are being affected so realize that on our regression table we have the base values being shown so we want to remove the base values so we will select only what we need to uh, appear in our table so we can select the constant the interaction term and the base value for the interaction time which is sex age uh, we don't show that and then we select sex and then we have age and once we say okay then you see that all the base values have been removed from our table again we would wish to add columns to our tables so we will go back to the column section and hit the edit tab so here we want to define what needs to be seen in our table so we can select the levels as the coefficient standard error we have the t statistics the p value and the 95 confidence interval once we click ok you'll realize that now we have additional columns that have been added into our table the next thing that we might want to do is to modify content of the variables that are appearing so notice that in our table here we have have close to five decimal points so we'd wish to reduce this to a standard of probably four uh, decimal points so we go to sale appearance and styles and once we click on that this opens for us another dialog box so here we can define 
what base values and styles we want so in this case we want to edit styles for specific tags so the first tag let me pull this here the first tag would be the coefficient so we'll say results and then we scroll to the coefficient and then we have tag 2 we click on result and we want to see the standard error and tag 3 we want to see the 95 percent uh, confidence interval so here we select the 95 percent confidence interval and then after that we select the formats and then for this case we want to define the number of decimal points that will be displayed in our table so we highlight the fixed numeric and then we increase the number of decimal points to just three and once we hit submit then you notice that for the variables that we had highlighted, we have a total of three decimal points after the decimal points. Then the next thing that we might want to do is to increase the number of decimal points to the p-value. So first of all, say OK, and then click on the cell appearance and styles. So we want to edit the p-value. So in this case, uh, select results, and then we have the p-value since we want to increase the number of decimal points to four that's why we are selecting this one separately so go back to the fixed numeric and realize that in this case the total number of digits is five so we can increase this to six and then the number of digits right to the decimal point is three so we can increase this to four and once we hit submit then you see the number of decimal points have been increased to four then you can hit okay so notice that the number of decimal points at the t statistics have been restricted to two decimal points so in case we want to increase this to three or four then we can still follow the same procedure so we go back to cell appearance and styles then click on tag select on the results t statistic and then format you can increase this number to three decimal points and then you can hit submit and then say okay so notice that the number of decimal points have been increased to three so the next thing would be to change the font type so in this case we'll go to cell appearance and style again here you can select uh, fonts and then define the type of uh, font type you need so in this case we can say area then once you hit submit you can see that the font type has changed again you might want to increase the margin so click on the margin section and then type 5 15 5 and then 15 once you hit submit then you can see that the, your table has been spaced adequately the next thing you might want to do is to remove the borders so click on the borders tab uh, separate styles for each side then we have the right border type there nil once you hit submit this removes the border line which appears in between your table then once you have that done then you can click ok and then the final step would be to export our table into a word document or our excel document so in that case you can click on the export button and this opens a new dialog box where you can define where you want to save your table to so i have a folder in my documents and i want to say this is regression regression table then once i say save then i am able now to export that excel into an excel document the last step would be to highlight and save your commands so what you do is highlight all the commands on your right tab and then you can send these into a do file so that next time when you want to redo the same work you don't have to repeat again so click on send and now you have your all the commands that you have displayed in a do file then you can again save this and then uh, say this is a regression so that brings us to the conclusion of this presentation thank you very much for listening